In the 1970s and 80s, the Golden State Killer terrorized the state of California. More than a dozen victims were murdered, 50 were raped. For more than 40 years, the killer evaded capture. It would take something never seen before in forensics to solve the case. Born in Fort Lauderdale and raised in Green Bay, Steve Kramer is an attorney with the FBI in Los Angeles. I've been embedded with agents, you know, working side by side with them for the last 22 years. So most agents think I'm an agent. For investigators, current DNA technology wasn't doing enough to solve violent crimes. Every case is a new twist on it. You think you've seen it all and then you see something new. This has pretty much been eliminated. Former cold case investigator Paul Holes says he and Kramer wanted to advance justice through DNA technology. He was like, Paul, I believe in the DNA. I believe in this genealogy. How can I help? Steve Kramer is bound by the FBI from talking about DNA, but Holes says they both wanted to prove that crime scene DNA could be uploaded to a public genealogy database to find a genetic relative of a suspect in a violent crime. Eventually, we recognized that the, the technology that ultimately is being used today was just so powerful, we had to pursue it. We just partnered up. Paul says it was Steve Kramer who blazed the trail for DNA forensics. Public genealogy data hubs were the key to this new technique. But Kramer needed someone to unlock the bank. Steve said, you know, you really have an opportunity to make a difference. Bennett Greenspan is the president and founder of Family Tree DNA, a Houston-based genetic testing company. He called me and, and told me that he had a horrendous case. Dozens of murders and rapes that they think came from the same person. And he said, I think I can get some of that DNA. If we get that DNA, will you run it? And it didn't take me long to say, yes, I will, because it felt like the right thing to do. Just like that, the FBI gained access to more than 2 million public DNA records. And it worked. By uploading crime scene DNA to genetic search hub GEDmatch, Paul Holes says he and Kramer identified distant relatives of the Golden State Killer. By reverse engineering a family tree, they identified Joseph James D'Angelo, one of the most notorious serial killers in U.S. history. After 47 years on the run, D'Angelo was arrested, convicted, and sentenced to 12 life terms. And forensic genetic genealogy was born. The reality is, is that without Steve Kramer, I'm not sure Golden State Killer case would have ever been solved. For now, the FBI won't speak publicly about forensic genetic genealogy, but according to Green Bay detective David Graff, the same technique Steve Kramer's colleagues credit him with inventing is what led to an arrest in the Green Bay cold case of Lisa Holstead, a single mother who was murdered back in 1986. He provided the blueprint to assist in my investigation to help me develop the leads that I needed to potentially identify a person. The killer's DNA found on Lisa's body was enough to use the new forensic tool to bring her killer to justice. A lead generator is what it is. Forensic genetic genealogy led investigators to 65-year-old Lou Griffin. Griffin was arrested for the crime and now awaits trial. Kramer and his team at, the, at that federal level are the preeminent cold case genealogy crew that's out there. And, and obviously in Lisa's case, they had an impact and they're having an impact across the nation. Despite his pioneering career, Steve says his humble roots keep him grounded. One of the unique things about growing up in Green Bay is certainly when I grew up there is that we could all be very independent. I went back just two years ago. Uh, I took two of my daughters with me. I had to show them a Packer game. Despite the countless cases that remain unsolved, Steve says his motivation is about finding justice. I think that was the biggest thing is like you're actually making a difference, not just in your life, but in somebody else's life. Uh, so that, uh, for me, it was kind of the motivation to stay in law enforcement. But those close to Kramer say they want the world to know exactly who's responsible for the next generation of forensics. It's groundbreaking. It's life changing. It's 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 a paradigm shift. It's all those things. And Steve saw it. 
know, he, he connected the dots and just ran with it. So far, anywhere between 100 and 150 cold cases have been solved using forensic genetic genealogy. To hear more from Steve Kramer, his colleagues, and to learn more about Kramer's life in Green Bay, head to our website, NBC26.com.